Let's go steal some stuff out of my eBay store to sell this Saturday on Whatnot. So I got done with my second Whatnot sale tonight, and I think it went better than the first one. There's still some kinks to work out, but I, I think better. I did go ahead and bring down one guy here. I plan on selling him and Whatnot. He is stinking adorable. He's just a ceramic, um, I imagine sort of a hobbyist kind of piece, but I mean, he's really well done. There is a signature on here, Aretha Parrish, I believe it says, and it's kind of impressed into the ceramic. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know if this was a hobbyist piece or, or what you know, the deal was, did they actually just make this piece? I don't know, but it, it's really cute. Uh, I don't remember, I think I got this in a thrift store for, I don't know, maybe two or three dollars, but he's a cute little guy. I mean, look at him with his little, I guess, overalls on there. And I don't know, he's kind of got a, a goofy little grin. He does have a couple little chips on his ears as you can see here, a couple here and this one here, uh, mostly really to the glaze, more so than the ceramic, but he's otherwise in good shape. I don't think I saw any like really crazing or anything on him either, uh, but he's just a little like dish for uh, serving cheese, like a che cheese wheel, I suppose, but serving cheese, any kind, I'm sure, would work fine with him. So I've got photos of him uh, on eBay already and I may just use those photos we'll see this right here has been listed on eBay for quite a while I've got I don't know I think 225 or something on it so this is sterling silver around the edge and it is a Revere silversmith still has the original sticker on there which was really cool uh, but this is a formica so it's like a faux wood and I'd say it's probably roughly maybe a fourth inch thick it's basically the same thickness as this bottom border piece here uh, but it's a serving tray and on the back they tell you that uh, it is resistant to burn stain scratches and will not warp so good for serving whatever you want on there. And let me see, let me find, where did it say sterling on here? So there's the sterling mark for it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, my photos on eBay for this just were not that good. I took them with a different camera and it's supposed to be a fancy camera and stuff and maybe I'm just not a good photographer, but... Um, <laughs> But I don't know, the photos just look odd to me. And I took them also when I really kind of first started listing. So if, <laughs> if you want to see first timer, you know, sort of photos, go, ch go check this one out. It'll be down towards the bottom in my listings. But it's got this cool beaded edge here to it. I just, I think it's really cool. It is heavy. It was, I don't know, a couple pounds maybe. Uh, yeah just short of a couple pounds, one pound and about 13 ounces. So anyways, I brought it down so I could get new photos of it. Uh, with it being sterling silver and, and the weight of it and everything, I, ugh, that makes me nervous to sell it on, whatnot. So I think I'm gonna get better photos of it and just update the eBay listing. Um, but this guy will go to whatnot. This guy is on auction right now on eBay. And I think ends in the next few hours or so, roughly. And as of right now, has no bids, no watchers. I don't even think anybody's viewed it. Um, and maybe eBay's not the best place for him. And so I thought maybe Whatnot would do better. I think he's just cute. Just super cute. He's one of them, like, Tanala pieces. Arondi, um, I tried to look up a little bit on. And, you know, the pieces that Arondi has done, is they sell well. I think that's how you say it anyway, Arondi. And then these wicked little guys, I tried these in my, oh, first whatnot sale a couple days ago. And then 
uh, you know, of course they didn't sell. And so I, I switched and put them on to eBay and put them on auction and they haven't had any, any luck over there either. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about moving those back to whatnot. Uh, I think, I think that's all I have down here. Um, right here are uh, some of the things that I have tried to sell on whatnot so far that have not sold yet. So those are, uh, for the most part, I think all still in my marketplace store there. And I figured I would leave them in there and we can move them over and run them, run them again at some point. So let's head upstairs and take a look at what we've got. All right, guys. So welcome, welcome to my uh, storage and shipping room, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've brought you guys up here before once in the beginning of a video. Uh, I haven't really shown you too much around up here yet though. Uh, but basically when I list an item, this is where, where it comes to live until it sells. And then I come up here and I ship it as you've seen before. So a good little portion of the stuff that I previously listed on eBay are in these totes. And I was planning on grabbing out this tray, which I think is really cool. It's just this like vintage advertising tray for a 1910 Ford torpedo, but this was actually produced in, I think the forties or fifties, if I remember right, I'll have to look at the eBay listing to get some of the details back on it. But, um, I think they made them for several of the cars, like classic cars and stuff. But I think that'd be a good one to do on whatnot. So we'll pull him. Another thing I've got is this guy. And he's got burlap on his back. He does have like a couple spots where the stitch came loose, but I don't think would be hard to fix, especially for someone who knows what they're doing. But he's just uh, like handmade, uh, not cruel, but he's like a burlap and this thick yarn latch hook latch hook latch latch hook but he's he's an owl he weighed five pounds and six ounces almost so he's a heavy duty pillow he's stuffed with what's he stuffed with i'm not positive of what it is actually because i can't see what it is but it is uh like a heavy duty thing it's a heavy pillow um another guy i thought we could do was boy blue here and this figurine i mean they're common they're not hard to find he normally has a mate like a a, a girl figurine um, sometimes they're in like pink clothes sometimes they're in blue but he's got his trusty little dog here with a gold collar uh andrea by sadiq that's who he's made by still has the green felt someone put on him but I mean, there's really not even wear to the paint on him. There's no chips or cracks or anything. You know, he's not a high, high dollar piece, but you know, especially for a piece done in Japan, Andrea by Sadiq usually did really, really well, well done pieces. And, you know, even looking at the, the hands, the fingers there and stuff, your typical, just uh, average factory or, or manufactured piece from Japan are, are not that detailed and everything. Rarely are they anyhow. Um, so he's just, he's a well done. He's a cool, cool piece. Like I said, no chips, no cracks. Uh, he's a bisque figurine. Now I don't have his buddy, but uh, maybe someday I'll come along her, come along her path as well. Um, this thing here, I'm probably going to leave on eBay. Uh, these, these pieces sell for good money. I, go, go look on eBay on these. 
Um, I mean, I may, may have this priced a little bit high. I kind of put a price up there, just uh, averaged out kind of based on what each one of these independent pieces sell for, because this is all still completely new in box, like never taken out of the packaging stuff. So it had, I think, two, two trivets, two hot pad holders. This, these are like decorative. I mean, I suppose you could dust with it, but really they're decorative. And then, whoops, this one over here, she has like a string that attaches so just to hang her. And they're, you know, good luck. Good luck, witches. Uh, I have this little elephant guy. No chips, no cracks. He's some kind of an earthenware. Uh, I believe these are a little more contemporary, maybe made in the 80s and 90s and stuff like that. Let me know if they're, if anything's different on that. There's no marks on it. I have seen them around. It's kind of Majolica style. Uh, I'm not sure where he's made. I, I, if I had to guess, I'd say he is probably in Taiwan, China. I know, I'm not sure. I, I'm hoping somebody knows something more on him. I, I have found comps on him before. Uh, not a super high value piece, but a really cute piece. He's an elephant trunk up, nice little floral detail there. Just a little, you know, tea light votive piece. So I figured we could bring him up. Oh, this little gal here is one of them. This is one of those uh, spoon rest, bless the cook. Just, you know, from the seventies or so. It's not, not marked or anything. I, I imagine it's probably made in uh, Japan or Taiwan, something like that. But a cute piece, no chips, no cracks. I, I don't think there's even crazen on it. So real cute little kitschy piece for the kitchen, you know. All right, so then this guy, this guy has three cherubs total, and they're all holding this compote bowl on their back. They do sit nice and flat. Okay, so here's a look just at these guys in general. They're uh, hand done, hobbyist piece. Um, their initials are on here, I believe AR. So there's a look at the lid and it's just this pearl iridescent that they put all over it. I thought he was signed down here too. Yeah, it says uh, AMR, I believe. I thought it had the year on here too, but I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyways, I found this guy in the thrift store and uh, I wanna say he was a couple bucks and I picked him up but the lid sits nice and even and he stands nice and even. So um, I've had him listed for quite a while. There's been off and on, uh, you know, quite a bit of interest in him and then he kind of goes cold and then interest. And I think he would maybe do well on whatnot. I'm debating whether or not to bring this cupy tray over to whatnot or not. I would put this on whatnot, but I'm just afraid the shipping costs might get a little out of hand but let me know he's one of them stackable uh what company was that queen west yeah queen west trading company made in china i mean so i mean he's a contemporary piece but a uh, cool piece all right okay now um this little boot i have no info on. I have found them online and similar ones. It's a very light, lightweight. Uh, I imagine it maybe went on a keychain or you know something to that effect. But it's hand carved. It's just a, a little decor piece. I thought we could add him on there. Um, you know, some of this might might do as giveaways. This thing here is pretty neat. Uh, he came as extra in a lot, but he's a cake topper and he's a little carnival, not carnival, uh, like a zoo, uh, birthday candle holder. So the little peg pieces down here stick into the cake and then you have your little, uh, candle sticks that you stick in here and they have little 
you know, hand painted animals on them. And then of course your, your engine and, uh, who were they? The import company was MG, but made in Japan, little ceramic piece, uh, cold painted. Most of these, most of it's under glaze painted, but any of the red like this is, uh, cold painted. And so there is some fading to that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe some little flea bites along here somewhere, but nothing, nothing major that I've noticed or, or, you know, big breaks or anything. So I figured we could throw him in there. So then I've got this bag. I don't remember. I think there's eight of these in here and they are cheese markers, just ceramic cheese markers that you then take. Um, what are those pens called? not crayons, but you know, it's like a marker pen thing. Anyways, you stick this down. It's a food display piece and these are made in Taiwan. So they're, they're a little vintage, uh, like this right here. That is under glaze. That's not a break. I think there's only one of them that right there, not a break that's under glaze. There is one of these that does have a chip like right on this part on the back side of it real small so, and you can't see it from the front but I think that there were eight of these but uh, we'll find out and I'll add those to the upcoming whatnot sale and speaking of cheese then I have this now this is unbranded but it is literally new old stock. I just don't have the exterior box that it would have gone in. None of these have been used though. Uh, they were all in really good condition. And I, if I remember right, I think the blades on these are stainless steel. So it's a little, you know, cheese serving tray. And I figured that would go good on whatnot as well. This box, yeah, there's no, no maker's mark. I assume that this is like a bamboo or something type of wood. I think we can grab this trinket dish too. So it's just a little hinged ceramic, uh, sort of, sort of celadon, uh, glazed, but no chips, no cracks, no damage that I know of. I'm not positive where it's made. It's, it's not marked. Uh, probably China. I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. What else did I have that I was wanting to grab? Oh, I was thinking this little mermaid bell. She is from the eighties. I can't remember the exact year, but eighties, uh, she's bisque except for her fin. It's glazed. And I mean, there's nothing super special about her. I guess this is supposed to be a shell. But it's just a cute, made in Japan, cute bell. It is actually pretty detailed for, for that piece, but cute piece. I like it. Uh, I was planning on grabbing some of these little paperweights. Now, I don't think this is a Fenton one. The Fenton one is the like legs are postured slightly differently and I want to say his tail was too so I don't think he was Fenton but we'll pull him this little bear he's cute he's kind of got like a bowl of Conte thing going on in his stomach there but just some little figural paperweights clear then I figured we could also grab this guy now he's supposed to sit up on that edge like that and then you can see him playing with his ball I guess because all dolphins have balls to play with I suppose those are those like uh, 3d laser etched things so it's cute uh, and then I have another one here and this is my favorite out of the two of those. And it is, let's see if I can get it where you can sort of see it. Does darker help? Maybe. Yep. So it's like wolves. And then there's a couple little bird bats or birds. I don't know. 
on there and a tree and I assume that's supposed to be the moon but there's one wolf up on top of the rock looks like that's the way it goes up on top of the rock and then you know his buddies are in the back there but super cool one I like that uh, imports by John Wagner and Sons made in Japan uh, it's just a little jam dish no chips no cracks no crazing looks really good so we'll add this guy to our pile here what else oh I wanted to grab this guy now this one here is a little more contemporary of a piece Royal Bavaria Germany and it has its original little pumper here you can kind of still smell the perfume in it a little bit but it's just in really good condition you can kind of see that like rose design on here really cute but I love that it still has the original atomizer with that sort of uh, I don't know if that's actually silk but it kind of looks like silk um, and I have taken like unscrewed this part and stuff and and it is let's unscrew it now it is fully intact no chips no cracks and then this guy here his tube and everything's good he, he looks good he looks good oh this little art deco type cup I don't have a saucer to go with it and I'm not sure who made it but anyway it's hand painted little Lesterware cup little art deco I just love the designs on it you know like I said I don't have a saucer I don't have any other pieces but there's no damage there's no chips there's no cracks there's not even crazing on it and you know I imagine this dates to the 20s and 30s somewhere like that and so uh, I've had it listed on eBay for quite a while for I don't know 10 bucks somewhere like that I think I thought we could do a uh, pink egg a cracked egg I think this one yeah still has the original sticker on here Ardult yeah Ardult Japan sticker there no chips no cracks um, I don't believe this one had craisin or anything on it either uh, it is transfer print but it does have the white a sort of slip trail accent hand painted on there so I thought we would do that one I have another one a brown one around here somewhere I just haven't seen it yet but it's lurking somewhere I have these Otagiri coasters golden mist I believe they're called and so this is the case they came in and uh, the case is in really good shape and most you know there's no break or anything to any of the coasters but some of the design is worn on them you see how they're supposed to be like trees right here so and they're all generally about that condition there we are there's that other cracked egg I uh, don't know who did this one off the top of my head I think I figured it out and it's in the listing but uh, yeah it's kind of a more like a cream color with the brown and honestly I kind of like this one better I feel like you see the pink one everywhere I don't I don't see the brown one as often not that it's hard to find I'm just you know I don't see it terribly often here we'll set him down there and hopefully we don't hopefully we don't step on him and then we've got this guy and I'll wait to unwrap him because this is so delicate it's got all this uh, porcelain lace and these little delicate roses it's a Capa de Monte piece and um, really really cute very delicate piece I'm thinking about running it on there if I remember right there's no breaks no chips no cracks no nothing with it I think it would be a really a really cool piece uh, some of these I may run as giveaway I don't know we'll see we shall see this is another one I'll leave the wrapper on until I get ready to sell it but uh it is another Capa de Monte style and if I remember right I think this one was pretty darn intact I don't recall any 
uh, chips, cracks, and that kind of stuff. I could be wrong. We'll find out. I will investigate it again as I list it on whatnot. Um, I figured we could run our cow tea set here. It's a little miniature tea set. So he's got his cups and little plates. And then you got your little dreamsicle one here with these little guys. And I believe the sets are all intact as far as I know. Uh, they're just, you know, decorative little little pieces. Um, both of these little plates are, are right here and two cups. You got your cream, sugar, and your teapot. So we'll put those on. This dude, Otagiri. Uh, in relief, figural squirrel. And still got his sticker on there. He's in good shape. No chips, no cracks. I like him. I think he's adorable. Alright, so we'll add him to the chaos mix. We're getting a little dicey. We got a few things up here. Got stuff down there. Getting a little dicey. I hope you guys had fun raiding my eBay store with me, uh, looting it more or less for some hidden treasure that I, I listed a while ago and it's just kind of been sitting around and I'm wanting to clear out some of my inventory, whether it's from my antique booth that I'm closing or, you know, stuff that I've had listed for a long period of time on eBay and that kind of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm ready to get it moved. So... I, I think that these are good items to get on whatnot, and I'm, I'm glad you came along with me to to go dig them out and, and resurface them. Uh, my whatnot sale tonight, I, I think, went a lot better than the first one. Uh, I always think that the first one's usually the uh, kind of the doozy, you know, but I think this one went, went a lot better. I still wasn't real happy with the lighting. I still wasn't real happy with how the camera doesn't seem to like to focus very well, but... Um, you know, and listening back to the audio, you know, audio with my microphone, like on my videos now, generally sounds fine. Uh, but during the live sale, I don't know, I was listening back to it and it sounds kind of funny. So I, I don't know, there's just little quirks that, uh, again, are probably super simple things to fix, but nonetheless above me. And so it might take me a minute, bear with me guys. I'll, I will get it figured out. <laughs> so if you guys have any suggestions or anything to help make it easier, that would be great. Uh, I'm, I'm open for any of it. So, but I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, despite the kinks to work out and everything, I'm really looking forward to selling on whatnot. I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's a, a really cool way to like actually interact with you guys while selling. And that's just, I don't know. That's the fun part of it. I think most people that are into in reselling enjoy people, enjoy interacting with people. After all, like we tend to love history, vintage, antiques, that kind of stuff. And, and we like talking about them and we like uh, exploring them with, with other people and just enjoying it with people. So I, I really, really like it. I really do. Uh, I want to thank everybody that, that showed up to my sale tonight from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much uh, that participated or just showed up to hang out and watch. Either way, um, it, it means it means a lot to me that that uh, you guys show up and, and hopefully have a good time. Uh, my poor husband, he's he's over there drinking his beer, nervous, trying to <laughs> trying to figure out <laughs> how to run the, run the darn thing. But we'll get there. We'll get there. And you guys will will go right along with me. So I'm really liking it though, guys. Uh, if you haven't checked out Knickknacks yet, certainly do so. Uh, there's a link to my store in Knickknacks, but certainly go around, look at look at everybody's. There's a ton of, of sellers on there now. I want to say earlier today when I looked, there was like over 21,000 listings. So there is a lot to browse through. Go check it out. Have a blast. Uh, same thing on my eBay store. Uh, feel free to go look around. That should be in my uh, video description also. Um, but I enjoy hanging out with you guys. It's It's been fun. I had a lot of fun tonight. My husband even had fun too. <laughs> he, he's a nervous Nelly, that fella, but he had fun. We, we both did. We enjoyed hanging out with you guys and interacting with you guys. And I love seeing the comments and stuff. And 
the support the support you guys give is just it's amazing and I, I, I truly thank you for it so uh, have a good one I'm gonna go get some rest we have a, a vet appointment for Theodore in the morning so he's he's looking forward to that so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get some rest myself and I will see you guys on the next one.